Welcome to the Vista Acres Homestead Channel. We'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications button, and if you can, give us a like button. And again, thank you for watching. Okay, y'all, pretty busy weekend this weekend. We uh, got the corn processed, which was a full day, uh, just a full day of getting that done. We also uh, got the uh, some eggs done uh, Friday, and then we had something that we did Saturday that I'm going to share with you on tomorrow's video. But I hope you enjoyed this little video we took of this uh, moth or butterfly, wh whatever it was. Uh, probably end up eating the garden up, but it was cute anyway. It was pretty. But I uh, hope y'all enjoy this video. all right y'all it is that time eggs we're gonna freeze dry some more eggs now let me show you the ones that are floating it's kind of hard to see this but see how that one is a floating okay well i'm gonna get another camera and i'm gonna give you a little different look Notice that the eggs that are at the top, those are bad eggs. Now, I did run into a situation with the quail eggs to where they didn't float. And what had happened, they had cracked and they filled with water and they went to the bottom. So you got to be really careful to inspect your eggs and make sure you don't have any cracks to where water could go in there and make the egg sink and it would still be a bad egg. Okay, y'all. I've let these uh, float for a little bit. And what we're going to do very, very, very carefully, uh, we're going to remove the ones that are floating. Because there is that possibility if you broke one of them, it could be extremely nasty. Okay, y'all, what I'm doing here is, is just really cleaning them pretty good. That rag here, and I might put a little bit of dawn on there and uh, just kind of scrubbing them up a little bit and make sure that and you think well why do you do this well the reason that way if you get an eggshell in in there you know you haven't uh, it's not nasty now, I know if you watch some of our other egg processing processing videos you probably noticed that's how that does happen it's all part of processing eggs so I just kind of do that right there with them. Doing, Maggie? Maggie. Okay, y'all. Next thing we're gonna do here is. Just... Then we'll show you this. We had to uh, run the oil through and get it clean. We had to change the oil in our pump, so that had to be done. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get started uh, cracking eggs. Oh, sorry about that. Get the garbage can moved over here. Let me check my view. Okay, you can see that we've got the tray out. It comes out, it unplugs, and now we're gonna clean it real good. Uh, we're cleaning the seal. Angie has the seal. Here's the seal, it's still wet, we gotta dry it, but it, we've cleaned it. Now I'm gonna take you over and show you the inside of it. 
Okay, y'all, this we, we're gonna clean the drum out. Luckily, it's not too bad. I think it's a little bit of water. Uh, this is the plug that uh, plugs into the tray, and you wanna make sure you get that that lined up. So we're gonna get that cleaned and get her ready to go for our eggs. Maggie, what are you doing? Even though we washed these trays when we got through with them, we're going to go ahead and do another uh, wash uh, job on them, make sure they're all cleaned up and ready to go. Rinse, just look at that. Yeah, kind of rinse. Any other contaminants? Maggie! 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 Okay, y'all, you see that the uh, cool, cooling vacuum chamber uh, wait 15 minutes for loading trays. So this is the uh, first process of uh, the freeze dryer. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna blend up these eggs that way it, it takes the yolks and blends them out to where you don't have uh, some of the eggs frozen and then some of the eggs are not frozen as well. So this kind of gives it a consi good consistency. Okay, I think it gives us a good consistency. Pretty good looking. And I have really poured the trays pretty full. And we're gonna put it in. Now these things will catch right here. And what I try to do is just kind of that one went on in pretty easy. You put them up back back there. Now you got it That top one got bigger. Yeah, the top one right there is trying to give me fits. This is there it went. Okay, so we've got it in there. Now, look at the time. It's three you know, and the date. It's 3.33 uh, and it is July the 19th. So look at that time. And I'm gonna try to, we hope this thing finishes up during the day. All right, see, I got it. It latched right there. And then I do another latch to make sure it's locked. Okay, I hit continue before I do, Get up there close to it. Can you, you can get close enough, it'll come in. Okay, you see it says close the valve. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna close this valve. Easy, easy. And now all I've got to do is hit continue and it says freezing. It'll do that and then it'll go into a countdown and we'll try to remember to bring the camera and show you when it goes in the countdown but it will probably be late tomorrow afternoon before they're through wouldn't you say angie mm -hmm. yeah okay y'all that's a little bit of egg day next thing. okay y'all it's the next day and the time as you can see is 1206 i think we're about three hours from being 24 hours and you can't get, when we first saw this we thought we had nine hours and like 34 minutes left but that's how long it's been drying. And we really have no clue. I mean, if you look at that and you think, well, it's halfway, you've got another nine hours or so. So it's kind of looking like they're going to finish up tonight sometime, maybe, hopefully, before we go to bed. Okay, y'all. It's about to finish drying. I'll show you what the next process is. But look at the date and time on my watch. Luckily it's gonna finish up during the day, not not at night. 
Okay, y'all, it's on the countdown. Now, this is where if you wake up during the middle of the night and you catch it, you can, as you can see, see, get my finger in there. You can add time to it to uh, extend it. We're going to be having to leave. We've got a uh, thing with the grandkids we got to do, so we're probably going to extend some drying time. But this is where we messed up the other time. It did this during the middle of the night when we was asleep and we didn't add time to it and then got up the next morning and uh that was, like i said was a little bit scared of those eggs you'll hear maggie in the background she's getting bored okay y'all process is complete that's what you're looking for uh you see you could ask for more dry time and we did that earlier actually these things was finished about five hours ago but if we look at the time that we finally got time to work on it, you're looking at about uh, 355, even back five hours. They was probably done by 11 o'clock today. So that's how long, on the 21st at 11 o'clock is actually when these things finished up. So we're gonna get them out, and put them in some bags. Hey y'all. Been showing the eggs, been showing the progress, and that's what it equal to. Uh, 90 eggs and three bags. So we got uh, 90 eggs and three harvest right, uh, freeze, freeze dried bags. And, oh, and they're stuffed, Angie said. Oh yeah, see those Skittles? Hopefully in the next couple of videos, we'll let you know how freeze dried Skittles uh, taste. Our, uh, daughter's mother-in-law bought some and said it was really good so we're gonna give it a try you rolling baby Got a lot of it. It's not the best looking corn, but we're gonna make uh we're gonna make the best of it. What kind is it, honey? It is peaches and cream. Probably the last year we will do peaches and cream. And why? It's ended up this way both years. But now, don't it taste good? This is good corn. How do we fix it? We'll have to cream this and then we're gonna pick some of it. And then we may do some uh, chowder. Didn't we see some chowder done, Angie? Corn chowder? I don't yeah. I don't know. I'm sure you can make it because we buy it in the store. And then some of it's gonna be given to the chickens. But things get bad and we have to eat rice and beans and pickle corn be kind of tasty. Well Maggie, what do you think about that? Maggie, do you think you can eat pickled corn? Do you like pickled corn, girl? Do you like pickled corn? Hey, how about we put a little gravy on it? How about a big old juicy slab of bacon on it? Ooh. Maggie loves okra, fried okra. We uh, had a bet the other night, she won't eat okra. Nah, she won't eat okra. Lo and behold, she made a liar out of us. She sat there and ate a, it was probably about a cup of okra, wasn't it, honey? Yes, yeah, she ate a good bit of okra. So, she's, we, 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 we're not amazed at what Miss no Maggie eats. We say that she don't like Doritos. Yeah, Doritos. You'd think dogs would love cheesy Doritos. We but really not Maggie. She'll eat anything, but she don't, eat, she don't like Doritos. Box hot food too. All right, guys, we're probably going to take this party inside soon. I'll hear some thunder in the distance, and if you can see, I'm not sure to show up on the camera. We have a very dark cloud coming in from the east, honey. Is that east? No, west. West. I get my east and west and stuff. 
Fetch! Fetch that corn! I don't even think she's even gonna fetch, yes? <laughs> oh, excuse me, something's blooming. <laughs> yep, here in the background. Alright guys, I'm gonna turn you off and um sit over here with Mr. Dave. I can't do a lot because of my hand, but I am pretty good at socializing. I like to talk. All right. Oh, Joe, we had not made a big dent in it. That's not too bad of a harvest, considering we only planted two pounds or one pound of seed. Right, Angie? Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. And I still got some out in the trailer that I've got to uh, the little wagon that I've got to uh, take the uh, shucks off of it. Shucks. Shucks. What is that? Shucks. Shucks. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, creaming the corn, and we just have to remember we had this thing. I don't know about y'all, but every now and then we get we got stuff. But uh, this is a Lee's uh, corn cutter, and uh, Angie can show you the bag it come out of. We we have managed to keep the bag with it. I've had it for several years. Like it might have been five dollars and nineteen cents for several years ago. Yeah. I wouldn't drop five one for that. You can see it, it really creams the corn and it, it's fast as far as getting it off here. You can definitely tell the tough here from one thing. <laughs> the only thing you won't watch your finger around that blade. Y'all, you gotta keep it stirred, keep it from burning, and uh, keep it going. Big old pot. Uh, it's looking good, as you can see. Let me take it over and I'll show you. Maggie, we stop. Okay guys, we've got a assembly line here. We've got a crew going on. They're a picking and they're a greening. Well, maybe not greening, but picking. Watching TV on pickling corn. Yep, watching someone pickle corn on TV. So we're going to, we may attempt that with some of this corn. We got plenty of it, so stay tuned. Let me get on my shoulder in a minute. Hey, you two, go stop. Okay, uh, now here we got, luckily I didn't have the camera on, and you had to correct me on the sizes, but uh, we got a pint here, got a quart, and then we got a half a gallon at the bottom. So we ended up with two, four, or two, three, that'd be six, and say eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 14 pints. Yep, and then we got this here that we just took out of the microwave. Yo, we're doing this in the microwave. Uh, we was putting it in a stove top, but, or in a uh, pot on top of the stove top, but problem with that is, is it burns real easy. You gotta have a big pan 
And uh, so easiest thing, Angie's mama did it this way, is just put it in the microwave, cook it, and then you put it in the pints. And uh, so that's the big thing with that. Then we still got this left. Hang on a second. I'm show you hey, you too. Uh, and then we got this left over. All right, so this is not all of it, y'all. Let me take you outside out here and show you. Uh, somebody else is enjoying the corn too. The chickens are, I mean, enjoying it. They are just having a field day with it. So they are happy, happy chickens. I'm gonna even take a corn cob there and throw in for the quail, see if they like that. I just thought about that. Seen the quail up there, I thought, you know, they may like corn cob. Let's see how they like it. Hey y'all, I'm gonna finish up showing this freeze dried squash. This stuff was excellent. You could take it the way it came out of the freeze dryer and use your favorite dipping sauce and uh, salsa, ranch, whatever you like, and just do it that way. Or you could hydrate it again and use it for any type of recipe that you might have in mind. Uh, really enjoyed, uh, again, working in this old kitchen. I've known this kitchen since I was a little boy and it's just a, a pleasure to be able to work in it again. But there's some changes probably gonna be coming to the kitchen to kind of update it and we're excited about sharing that with y'all. In tomorrow's video, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. But again, y'all, we really appreciate you watching the video. If you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that like button if you can, we'd appreciate that. And we appreciate it again and thank you for watching the video.